So this is chapter 17, problem 31, an example of a solid landfill waste in government accounting. So the city of Lawrence opens a solid landfill waste in 2015 that is 54% of capacity on December 31st. The city had initially anticipated closure costs of 2 million, but later decided that year that the closure costs would be 2.4 million. None of these costs were incurred until 2019 when the landfill is scheduled to be closed. What will appear on the government-wide financial statements for this landfill at the end of December 31st, 2015? Assuming the landfill is recorded within the general fund, what will appear on the fund-based financial statements? Okay, so let's start here. We have, I'm going to make this bigger, actually. All right. So, we have, this is 2015. We have landfill, I'm going to put down the given information, landfill percentage, and this is 54%, and then the closure costs, 2 million, and then a new estimated cost, I mean, is 2.4 million so the total closure costs to be recognized equals this So now it asks what will be the journal entries. So if we go government wide financial statements, it would be called governmental activities. And then it's land fill expense. For the amount to be recognized, and then land bill liability, and then on the fund based general fund, And since there was no payment and we only recognize payments, it is no entry fee. So nothing will be recognized on the fund based financial statements in the government, uh, in the general fund. And that's an example of recording a landfill liabilities.